Hi everybody. So uh, I just wanted to take a minute to show you my newest toy and I think um, Star Trek fans will really enjoy this. Um, I'm recording this on my iPad 2 so forgive me for the video quality and where I'm looking. I'm trying to look at the camera but I'm also trying to see myself. All you video people probably know this way better than I do but I have to do it this way instead of on my phone like I normally would because I'm going to... well I'll explain. Anyway, so what I got was the um, the Wand Company's communicator uh, from the original series of Star Trek. Um, it is an authentic replica. I mean, like, down to the nth degree. It is so good. Um, I've had other um, communicator replicas before um, that I got at various Star Trek conventions. And this is put together so well and is so good. Um, anyway, and I'll show you just now. So I've already played with it for a few days, um, but I wanted to get kind of comfortable with it before I talked about it. So first, inside that box comes an official shipping box. I'm going to see if you can see the lettering. Right? It's uh, USS Enterprise uh, numbers, and um, it's like a standard issue, and, and these would actually stack correctly. They made it so, like, if they had hundreds of them, it would work, which is really cool. Um, the case is put together really well. It's a very solid plastic. Everything is displayed really nicely. Um, now, what you get is um, it's a metal base and then a hard plastic charging unit, and it snaps together really easy. Now, this isn't an unboxing. It's been out, but... Um, you know, has the insignia, it tells you it's, um, let's see if I can get that to be seen, you know, standard issue communicator, I mean, it, it looks great. Um, then uh, it's powered by uh, micro USB, it comes with a little one, uh, but you can use any cable, and it says it in there that that's totally okay. Now, I'm going to use mine because it's longer, I have to get to the computer, but check it out, when you plug it in, hopefully you can see this. So when you plug it in, um, it's actually easier to see the uh, the frame rate on the iPad is actually showing you flashing. It doesn't look like that in real life. There's no flashing. That's just the frame rate. But it's changing colors. It goes through a rainbow of colors. Um, and when it charges, there's indicators. So um, it's magnetic. It's a magnetic uh, charging port. So you don't actually have to plug anything on the communicator. Now here's the communicator. So the thing is like it. Okay, now right now it's off. So I'm going to turn it on. It doesn't make a noise when it's off. But to turn it on, there you go. Hopefully you can Connected. hear it. It does a power up sound and I've already paired it with my iPhone so it tells you that it's connected. You can see this is actually moving. It's not a sticker like so many of them. Um, it's great. Uh, you, get, you get a blue light if it's connected via Bluetooth. Um, and then this is a single button and um, doesn't really do much by itself but this is a jog button Enterprise. Spock here. so you get lots of um, yes, Captain. lots of pre-programmed uh, original series sounds McCoy here. which is great um, and then there's combinations what is your situation? so you can actually have a pretty lengthy conversation with this if you memorize what it is um, now, some people uh, were commenting on another video that there's no sound, but it still makes the sound. It makes the chirp sound. So, that's, it's cool. Um, the other thing is, if you pair it with an iPhone, um, you have to make uh, the communicator sound your ringtone. And there's a simple way to do that, and there's a uh, website that you can do that. But if I get a call, um, let me see, let me see if I can make it do it without getting a call right now. Yeah, that's not coming through the phone. But I have that. So, um, anyway, that's what it rings on my... You have to have it set as your ringtone for your iPhone for it to ring like that in here because this is the standard Bluetooth um, speaker situation. So, the, the speaker itself is actually behind this display. And the microphone is right here. So, uh, obviously, you can't have a private conversation. You're going to be... Um, you know, doing this in front of people. 
but it's still pretty cool. You can use Siri. Um, let's see. Redialing last number. Oops, I hit the wrong one. Now you can just close. You can close it. It'll tell you, give you audio, uh, let you know uh, when you're done. So it'll say audio, uh, sorry, communication terminated. It'll tell you when you're connecting. There's lots of voice prompts to help you know when things are happening. Uh, but to end the call, you just close it just like you would expect to. Um, and it's great. The weight is good. It feels good in the hand. Um, the battery life so far, I haven't been able to kill it. But what's great, at least with the iPhone um, on the latest iOS version, which I think is 9.3 something, um, it gives you a battery indicator of your Bluetooth device. So I can see what the battery level is on my phone. Um, and the distance has been pretty good. In fact, I can get all the way to my garage with it still being connected to this. Um, it's way better than any other Bluetooth device I have, um, which is saying a lot because I have a few and many of them can't make it out of the house, um, but I can actually get down downstairs through a couple walls and still be connected to this. So that's a cool thing. Um, now the this stops moving after a few seconds, but every once in a while it'll turn back on, which is kind of neat. Um, let's see what else. What else can I show you that's cool? Oh, so the charging. So it's a magnetic base, so you can't really lose. You just put it around here, and it just sucks it on. And then the indicator changes. Now again, because of this, um, because of the frame rate of this video, being on the front camera of an iPad 2, um, you're seeing some flicker. There's absolutely no fr flicker, and it goes from red to orange uh, if it is not fully charged. Now this is pretty close to fully charged, so I'm getting the full rainbow. It goes through several colors, I think six colors. Green, blue, red, orange. It's just to let you know it's doing something and it's powered on. And as long as it's connected with Bluetooth, you're going to get this blue dot. Uh, to power it off, hold the button. You get a powering down sound, and that's it. Now when you, when you pull it off, um, if you want to turn it on quickly, and you, it, it's always going to turn on when you stick it in the, in the tray. So it comes back on. Actually, yep, there it goes. You can kind of hear it. It tells you you're connected if you have Bluetooth. Now, you can totally use it without Bluetooth. Um, and then it's just an amazing display piece. Um, but you can still have all the sounds. All, the, all that stuff is built in. All the sound clips from the actors are built in. Um, there is a couple. Let me see. I like this one. Uh, let's see. It's this and... You can get that static interference sound. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. Um, volume control. Yeah. So I'm getting all kinds of fun stuff now. Um, let's see. What about this? Oops. Maybe I got backwards. Sometimes it's hard to remember because there's various combinations. Now they do give you a little sheet that I'm, I'm looking at. They give you all the information, which I'm sure you can find online. But I just wanted to let, let, let the record be set straight that yes, it does do the chirp. And that's what's beautiful about it. Um, again, it feels great. I bought this the minute I heard it was going to exist over a year ago. Pretty close to almost a year and a half ago. And um, they had some setbacks because they didn't like the people that were, they didn't like what came out of the first run. So they sent them all back and started over. Um, and honestly, whatever they did to make it this good was worth it. Um, the volume is not incredibly loud on speaking, and I have taken a couple calls with it. Um, and so you have to have it kind of close, but no closer than they did on the show. So it's pretty authentic you know it's it's basically a speakerphone you can also use it to play music through um, let's see uh, what am I listening to today we can have uh, something fun ooh how about this uh, let's see what you know goes up it sounds good and I've actually down. used it as my desktop uh, speaker, I can just have it right next to my desk, 
and it sounds great. So, thank you. Um, I hope you enjoy this, um, and if you're a Star Trek fan, and you're like one of those nuts Star Trek fans, kind of like me, um, I hope you get a chance to at least get your hands on one, because it is fun just to hold. I can understand if you didn't want to use it all the time, and I'm probably not going to take it out that much, because I don't want to damage it, but uh, there are a few places I think I would take it. Um, so, anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. I'd be happy to answer them. All right. See you next time.